Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this video is long overdue and I'm sure you've seen a few like it already, but I did wanna share my thoughts on the very popular and viral hair straightening brush. So you might have seen something similar to this on my channel before. I did a review on the Revlon hair drying brush and I will leave the link in the video and in the description below. So the big difference between this and that is that the Revlon one actually takes wet hair and dries it as you brush and it ends up giving you a little bit of a straightening effect but this is for dry hair and it's supposed to really give you that sleek straight look now something that I did not know is that there are actually a lot of different brands that make this same product even though they all look exactly alike so I'm going to leave the link below for the Amazon page that this specific brand and brush that I'm using this video is from so this is some type of like Japanese brand I want to say and it says Nasv Beauty Your World. So I've never used this before. We are going to experience this together. Um, as you can see, this is actually like my total natural hair. I did nothing to it. I washed it last night. I put it up in a turban to dry with some leave-in conditioner, and this is what I get. Obviously a lot of texture, a lot of volume, and a lot of waves. So this brush is really gonna have to do some, some heavy lifting to straighten this. I am gonna go ahead and brush it out first just because I feel like that's the right thing to do. I don't wanna be worrying about tangles while there's you know a really hot thing on my head. So this is my hair when it is brushed out and obviously I do lose a little bit of that shape but it's still far from straight. It's still very poofy. Um, a lot of wave to it still in my opinion. So I'm really looking for that flat iron look where this is just like nice and sleek and done. So let's plug this in. Okay, I have it plugged in. And I'm holding down the on button and it looks like it's in Celsius, which is just great being an American and all. And I have no idea the conversion between Celsius and Fahrenheit. So I just kept pressing the plus button until it stopped increasing the temperature. So that is at 230 Celsius. Maybe it's around 450 Fahrenheit because I've never seen a hair tool hotter than that. So I'm gonna let that heat up, I can see the counter um, increasing as it heats up. Now I'm wondering if I should section off my hair just like I would if I was flat ironing my hair, should I? Okay. So as you can see, the brush doesn't have actual bristles. They are all like rubber with these red balls on the end, which are also rubber. So it's not gonna feel like a normal brush. There is definitely more of a heavy duty, thick feeling to these bristles. Okay, so it is at 230 Celsius, whatever that means. And I'm gonna go ahead and straighten my hair. Okay. Okay, not bad. What the heck? This is totally working. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Well, folks, this is, I would say this is a thin layer of hair considering how thick my hair is. And it's working. It's just a matter of getting all sides of your hair, you know what I mean? Because the hairs, some of the hairs like falling through the bristles are not getting like really in there. But I mean, I do see, I'm seeing, I'm seeing the flattening. I'm seeing the difference. I think I've got my whole bottom layer done. First thing I'm noticing, it definitely works. I mean, it's flattening really well. The only thing is um, I do find a need to kind of like pull at the ends while I do this and brush through just because if you use it like a normal brush, um, not all of your hair is going to get deep enough into the brush to get that heat because towards these red um, touch points, 
it's a little cooler because that's obviously the part that might um, touch your skin. So I think they probably designed it that way. What the heck? Okay, let's keep going because so far this is like far beyond my expectations. This part is gonna be a little bit thicker. Let's see how far we can push this little thing. All right, here's like a noticeably wavy part of my hair. So let's just take a moment and really pay attention here. I'm gonna lift this up. And as you can see, I'm still lifting my hair so that it all gets deep into the brush. Do you guys see that? It was definitely wavy before. Now it's definitely straight. What? Just for some context, if you're like, how will I know if this works for me if it works on her? My hair's thick, naturally wavy and curly. To recap, I brushed my hair out so that it was a little bit easier on this brush. Um, but definitely I have really thick hair that takes forever to style. And this is just like cutting through my waves like butter and flattening them out. Oh my God, because look, I've seen a lot of the videos on these. There have been maybe a handful that do a semi good job, but it's always on girls that already have like straight hair anywhere. There's like a little wave that they want to get rid of. I haven't seen one work on like my type of hair. So I'm like really happy. Now I'm wondering how healthy this is for the hair in comparison to a flat iron because in my opinion if you are using this you're getting heat more evenly distributed throughout the hair and you probably won't have to do as many passes over the same spot as opposed to the flat iron you're just getting that top and bottom you know row of hairs in a layer and you're gonna have to go over it a couple more times to really get everything flattened out and I feel like this might even just straighten better because it's getting in between those hair layers. It's kind of annoying. Ow, 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 okay. Don't, don't touch the black parts. Let's just get that out there. It's kind of annoying that the um, dial is on the handle itself because as I grip the handle, I feel like I'm messing with the settings. And you do have to go slower than you would just run a brush through your hair. Um, just like as if you were flat ironing your hair, you wouldn't like go like this. You do want to give it time to um, effectively straighten your hair. And I've always heard that a slower pass through your hair with a hot tool ends up being less damaging than a bunch of passes that are shorter just because you're kind of just getting the job done in one stroke. Another thing that I'm really liking about this is I don't feel like I'm getting as warm as I do when I'm flat ironing my hair. Like, you know, you just get hot when you're using hot tools. This doesn't make me feel like I'm overheating. Of course, it's not that hot out anyway, but something to consider. So I'm done and my hair looks awesome. I am so dumbfounded. I was not expecting this to work at all. I thought that it would give me the same result that the Revlon hair dryer did where it like kind of flattened things out but there was still, you know, kind of poofiness to it. But I mean, it flattened my hair out. It's got so much shine to it and I haven't even put in any leave-in conditioner or spray to it. Like my hair is shiny and sleek. There's no frizz. It's beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna do a 360 for you. So you can see the back. I haven't seen the back yet. It feels flat, and that's always my problem area when I am straightening. And I'll try to do a before and after with footage of me earlier in this video so you can really see the difference from when we started and now. I can't speak for all those other dupes out there or different brands, but this one for sure works. Very inexpensive. I will leave the Amazon link below. Um, and to be completely honest, like I'm not even joking here, but this gives me hair that I like the look better than my $250 flat iron. Basically, the only downsides to this, I would say, is the Celsius, which if you're not 
American and stupid, it won't bother you. And um, the back of the brush definitely does get hot, so there's not really a way for you to put it down on anything or put it down on your lap um, without risking something kind of burning. Where have you been all my freaking life? I'm just gonna go die now and please bury me with this. I'm happy. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. If you're as surprised as I am with how well this worked on my hair, give this video a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe if you have not already. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Mwah. Mwah. <laughs> so I really only have to dot it on right over the redness that I want to conceal. And obviously this looks crazy.